Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are checking out the Top Down Engine. And spoiler alert, it is very good. This is a product from More Mountains, it is for the Unity Game Engine, and it's basically a engine or framework for creating top down styled games. Make that 2D or 3D. Now the reason why we were talking about it today is this is available in a humble bundle right now. So we're going to take a look at it, we'll take a look at that bundle, and then we'll go into more depth with this uh, this engine itself. So you're going to see here, this is one of the examples. By the way, I'm running it full screen using the full screen editor, which is also available in the same bundle. As you can see here, there's a ton of examples to get you up and started. We're going to show you one of the examples. You're going to be really impressed by the quality of these. So again, you can create 2D and 3D style games. So this is all about basically top down perspective. So something, this is like an enter the, um, the Gungeon clone. Also uh, Zelda, for example. Um, Basically, any game where your perspective is from above. So here we go, twin stick shooter style layout. You'll notice you have weapon systems, you have inventory, uh, you have a very annoying camera shake, which I don't know why they use that. Uh, you have interactions, such as this guy right here. All of this stuff is included. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll open this door up, and boom. All right, so this is just one of the examples that's available here. So let's go exit back into the engine. By the way, the ability to uh, maximize the windows like what you saw in action there, that is something called uh, full screen editor. I already did a video on it. It's very, very cool. I uh, don't know what's going on there. All right, so we're good to go. Let me go take a look quickly at the uh, the engine itself. So this top-down engine is normally available for 60 bucks on the Unity Asset Store. If you got this past the expiration, we got two more weeks as of today for the bundle. It was just renewed for a while. Um, if you haven't picked it up within that window, honestly, I still think this is a bundle that this is a package that is worth it at full price as well. Uh, however, if you get it right now, it is part of the tools bundle. I will have all these links down below. Uh, you will notice it is in here. It's at the highest tier, but you can think about it. Basically, you can buy this tool bundle for 30 bucks and you are getting all of the rest of this stuff for free. And you're also getting half price for the top down engine. So it is a complete and utter no brainer to go ahead and pick up this bundle. If what you see today appeals to you. Also the thing I use for full screen, one of the things I use all the time is the full screen editor available right here. I also checked out script inspector three in the past. Again, these are two tools I use constantly. And if I was going to create a top down style game using unity, I would definitely give a lot of look to the top down engine. By the way, there's also the unity art bundle going on as well. Uh, this one is cheaper and more art focused in nature. I did a video on it as well. Well, I will have links to both of these down below. By the way, if you use my link, you can send a portion to support Game From Scratch. And thank you so very much if you do that. All right, so we'll come back to the top-down engine details in just a second, but let's go see it in action. So we saw one of the examples. I loaded up the uh, level selection example. Uh, what we saw, uh, which one was that? I think that was Koala 3D, Koala 2D. So that was a 2D style game here, um, right here. So here you can see, everything that goes together to create said game. Now, there are some key aspects uh, to the top-down manager. So you've got uh, various different nodes that go in to make top-down style games, and they're all provided for you. The basics of what you need to do is create a couple of managers. You're gonna need a game manager, and optionally, but probably going to want it, a sound manager for handling things like the soundtrack and so on. Uh, you have a level manager for handling transition between the various different scenes, spawning your entities in the world, that kind of stuff. And then you've got other stuff in here, like for achievements, you've got inventory system and so on. All of these things are provided by the top-down engine. Uh, again, there are a ton of different examples here and they're, they vary massively in what they do. So for example, we've also got this one right here, which let me switch to 2D view and you'll, oops, wrong perspective. Anyways, this one is a, um, basically a 3D Bomberman clone. It's obviously in a 2D perspective like so. This is four player, same environment co-op. And by the way, there is local, there's support for local multiplayer networking in this, but not uh, across the wire networking. You'd have to do that yourself. As you can see from this particular example, let's go ahead and run this one. Game view. Now here you can see the example. Uh, you've got four guys that you can control, various different uh, control schemes. So that guy, I accidentally just blew him up. Right over there, this guy, I okay, one is wasp keys, one is arrow keys. All right, I don't know where the key combos are for things, uh, but you basically, again, a four-man Bobberman style game uh, being demoed here. Again, everything you need to go with to work with this stuff is available on here. But if you want to go ahead and actually figure things out yourself, the best way you're going to want to do it is to actually come down to either a minimal 2D scene or a minimal 3D scene. And you're going to notice there's a bunch of them provided for you. So we got uh, one for AI, for pathfinding, for performance, for making various different rooms, a sandbox. I'm just going to go minimal scene in general. So you see, again, a top-down style view of the scene. And I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and create a character in the world. So we're going to go ahead up here and go new, create empty, and we will call this a mic. 
because mics are the best. And then inside of Mike, we're going to go ahead and create uh, our 3D object, which we're going to use a cube, like so. And we're going to erase the box collider, because what we're going to do later on is going to create its own collider. So just remove that component from there, and there is Mike. So now we need to integrate Mike into um, the top-down engine way of doing things. Go to Add Component, and you're going to notice all of the components are either in here, the More Mountains area, or the top-down engine. And they're broken down into a variety of different categories. You get an idea of things that it handles, so weapon systems, cameras, and so on. What we want in this case is a character. And again, you can define your character abilities, give them special capabilities, dodge rolls, um, attacks, that kind of stuff. You can extend them and create your own as well. But what we want in this case is the character character. Uh, so once that is done, you apply that in. We're going to go ahead and we'll put the cube as the character's object, right so. I also want to make sure that these guys are both at the origin because this is going to be a, a prefab that we use later on. So set that guy at 000, that guy at 000, we're good to go. All right, so we've got the cube as our object, as you can see right there. Now what we're going to do, if you're doing an AI character, so it would automatically get AI scripts attached, you could create it that way. But what I'm going to do is auto build player character 3D and it has created it accordingly. So this set up the, um, the, uh, the collision detection and such that we need and so on. So now I just want to come on down here and find the rotator. Where are you, Rotator? All right, so under Character Orientation 3D, what we want to do is come down here and change this to Movement Direction, like so. And then we're also going to just basically take our cube and apply it as the rotating model, and we are done. So that is all it takes to create a character. So now I'm going to go ahead. We'll save our prefab at this point in time. Uh, and now I'm actually going to make it a prefab. So we'll drop it into our Assets folder so we can make as many mics as we want. And let's delete it from our scenes. We just created this prefab. The key thing is now what we're going to do is go into our managers, go to our level manager, and you're going to notice here we've got this player prefabs right here with the minimalistic character. What I instead want to do is make a mic. So now we have a mic in our world. Let's see how this works. Boom. Come in. Check it out. And there we go. So we got a mic. I can navigate around the world. And so on. Very, very cool functionality, very easy to add in characters. Uh, and that is sort of what the, the experience works like. So it's, it's basically the scaffolding you need to create the top-down style of games. And if you go through these examples, you're gonna find a, a ton of different ones kind of walks you through things. We even got like this tank game, which is pretty cool. So let's grab this guy and zoom out a little bit. So if you ever played Combat, I think it was called Combat, back on the, uh, um, it was Atari 2600, I believe. It's basically a two-person tank combat game and you can see the demos of it right there. So that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the basics, the very, very basics of the um, the top-down engine. You saw from the character just how many things. So we'll go here. We'll look at the player character, uh, the player tank, for example. And you can get an idea of the kind of stuff that is being attached when you use the character controller. So this is using a character controller. This one's a little bit different. It's a 2D character controller. Uh, no AI on this one, but you see here. Uh, you configure things such as, again, the controller 3D, which is what I use for rotation. And then you've got a number of different other things down here, for example, like having health for dealing with animations on it, dealing with various different abilities, which, by the way, you can also add character abilities. You can create your own abilities, add extended abilities, and so on. So everything is extensible. So if it doesn't necessarily do what you need it to do, you can extend it and, and make it work that way uh, accordingly. So here we go instead, the uh, 2D, the um, enemy tank. This is a character of type AI instead. So you see artificial intelligence driven, and then you've got a different set of properties for handling how it works uh, in the scene world. Again, if we come down here, take a look at the components, you're going to get an idea of just how many things Top Down Engine is actually providing for you. So we got some char uh, character controllers. We saw an action inclu including abilities, things for handling environments, things like buttons, doors, teleports, and so on. Uh, we've got uh, some UI handling uh, convenience stuff in there as well. Uh, inventory management and item, world items in there. You have a variety of managers for handling things in the game, such as, uh, again, multiplayer, multiplayer levels, character swapping, uh, game managers, GUI managers. Are the key, those are kind of the key aspects of your game. Uh, you got some things for handling background music and so on, uh, spawn points, and again, weapons for your world all provided there. So there is just a ton of the stuff that you would need to make these kind of games all in there. A ton of examples to actually walk you through how to go about doing things. And what you're going to want to do as a starting point is literally load up either one of these minimals uh, for the 2D or for the 3D that basically defines your world as best as possible and basically start from there. Uh, and it's really kind of simple to get up and going. Now, the nice thing here, and I'll go back over to the documentation, 
By the way, if you want to learn more about Top Down Engine itself, it's available at topdown-engine.com.moremountains.com. Some details about it right here. Kind of goes through the features and functionality of it, the things that are supported. But where you want to probably go is the documentation. And this will walk you through pretty much whatever you need to know. The only thing I don't like is this color scheme is, is terrible. Uh, but you even come down here, you got recipes. Basically, walks you through how do, how do I go ahead and how do I create a weapon? And then it's just step by step on here's how you do the various different things you'd want to do in your game. So you can start, these all start from uh, one of their sample projects. And then you just kind of, uh, so here you're opening up the suspenders prefab and then filling it from there. Here you're opening up the minimum scene 3D and going from there. And these little uh, recipes will actually walk you through everything you need to know to get going. Otherwise, you've got nice breakdowns of all the various different things. If you want to learn, for example, how to create a character, there are videos walking you through everything you need to know. Uh, all the tips are there as well. And then, for example, I want to do health and damage. Again, it's all documented. So very good documentation for this engine. Very good examples for this engine. Uh, the code from what I've seen seems quite clean. The approach seems quite uh, straightforward and intuitive. Uh, if Again, if I was going to create a top-down style game, this would give you such a huge, huge leg up in terms of that amount of work. Uh, it's an easy recommendation. So it's the Korgi engine. I, actually, everything I have seen from more mountains, I have been quite impressed by. Um, so yeah, that is the top down engine again, normally it's 60 bucks, which again, if you're watching this after the humble bundle has ended, I still think it's, it's worth 60 bucks. Uh, but if you can get it in the next two weeks with today being the, I don't know, 20 something, um, that doesn't help much. Does it, uh, if, if you can pick it up in this bundle, basically you're getting it for half price and you're getting a bunch of other stuff, uh, completely free. Uh, again, these two are essentials to me. They are two of the scripts I load pretty much every time I use Unity. Uh, but other than that, there's some other very nice stuff in here as well. Again, there's also the art bundle. I will have both of these links down below as well. I like the tools bundle better personally, but then again, I just love tools in general. So uh, this one speaks to me. But what we saw today, ladies and gentlemen, was the top-down engine. Uh, it's just, it's very polished. It's very clean. It has a ton of examples. It's nicely extensible. So if you are trying to create that Binding of Isaac or Enter the Gungeon or Legend of Zelda style top-down game, either in 2D or 3D, uh, this is probably the best framework I've seen for that kind of thing and easily worth the money at 30 bucks, especially when you're getting, you know, 19 other assets completely free uh, if you picked it up in the bundle. So let me know what you think. Have you used Top Down Engine or any of more mountain stuff like such as the Korg Engine? They also have a side scrolling engine uh, as well. Let me know what you think of their stuff. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later and goodbye.